Now this quick start is gonna be touching next yes, Drizzle, Recent, and Stripe. So if you wanna use Remix, I have another video for that. Um, but basically what this is doing is uh, creating the configuration for you so you know what it's gonna change in your specific implementation. For example, I'm setting next as the framework, so it's gonna be using the B uh, Drizzle flag. So it's this branch. You can use the main branch, so you can remove this uh, if you wanna switch between Prisma or Drizzle. But if you already know that you're gonna work Drizzle, uh, go to this specific branch. Uh, and the same goes for Prisma. So. I'm gonna pick recent and I'm gonna copy. Well, first I'm gonna set the application name. So this will be my next, uh, my next JS rock stack. And I'm gonna set the recent API key. So I'm gonna create a new one, test full access all domains. And I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. And I need to set the sender. And I don't have this custom sender. So I think it's something like Acme. Uh, let me see emails. Uh, let me see the API. Yeah, it's this one right here. Onboarding at recent.dev. Uh, so you need to make sure to have that. Um, and I'm going to put Acme as the, as the name. Well, Alex from Acme. Now this can be uh, the support email. So I'm just going to leave that. Now the Stripe API key, I'm going to copy the secret key from um, Stripe. And then this database URL, I'm gonna set it later. So with this, I'm gonna copy the first command and go to uh, some folder like my home, CD, rock stacks. And here I'm gonna clear and I'm gonna paste this command. And this will create this, my Next.js rock stack. I'm gonna install the dependencies. And while this is doing this, um, I'm gonna copy this um, copy the environment example to set it with the local.m file. Uh, so I'm going to run this once this finishes. And now I can open this with my VS Code editor. So you can see here that this environment file is created so I can override it. Um, so what's next? I need to set my environment variables. So uh, I'm going to copy the session secret. Uh, of course, you need to set this as a secure one. And I'm going to use Postgres with Drizzle. So this database needs to exist already. Uh, testing, testing. So this is my next JS Rockstack demo. And this will have, I don't know, 100. So I need to create this database uh, first. So I need to create a new query and create database. And I think this is with single quotes from query. Uh, testing doesn't exist. Create database. Database testing doesn't exist. OK, maybe I need to run this inside a database, like for example, this one that it that belongs to that server. Um, maybe double quotes. Yeah, it's uh, double quotes. So now that I know that I have this specific uh, database, if I refresh the items on my local host, here it is, but it's empty. So we need to run the migrations. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to open the terminal and run. Well, here are the steps. Uh, but well, before going into migrating, I'm going to copy the Stripe secret key and then the recent API key. Recent uh, here. And then the database URL is already set. Now I need to go to default app configuration and make sure that I have my application name correctly, the ORM. And since I cloned the Drizzle branch, I should only have Drizzle and Mock. Mock is for when you don't want to use or you don't have a database and you want to develop things quickly. But keep in mind that there's not uh, a database. And the email settings. So I can copy these settings and paste that here. So the provider is updated to recent because the default is postmark and the from email and the from name. So now we can run the migrations with this command npm run migration generate. And you can see this is a custom script that I have here that basically runs the drizzle kit generate. And this should apply all the changes. Um, no schema changes because I already generated my schema. Uh, but 
in order to push the database tables into my new database, I need to run this uh, migration push command. So with that, you can now run the application and go to port 3000. It's the default one for next. And well, I forgot to see it actually. Yeah, um, but there's a dev route that you can go and click here, see database. You can see that there are zero users. So you can click here, see it, or you can stop the server and run npm run seed. And it will create this admin at uh, email.com. And you can change this. Actually, you need to change this if you're going to push or seed a production database. So make sure to update the custom admin email and the password here. So my password is going to be Alexandro. And I'm going to seed again. And this will create another user with this. Um, but remember, uh, you only need to change that on production databases. And currently, I'm on a local host, so it doesn't matter. Matter. So I'm going to run the application again with npm run dev. And I'm going to refresh this page. And you can see that this button, it's going to change to already seeded in a second. Uh, see database, it's not actually being seeded because the invalid signature. Let me see. Did I send? an invalid, um, let me take a look at me, my default app configuration. It's Drizzle and the database is already set correctly. Um, and the ses session secret, um, let me open this in on an incognito tab and let me click seat database seated, already seated. Yeah, I guess this was because of the cache. So now I'm gonna go to the login route and here, if you remember, I created this um, new user that I can put like like this. So this should contain two default accounts. Uh, this is the admin application uh, or dashboard. And I'm going to create a new one, like uh, my or account. No, my next JS account number one. And this needs a Stripe key, so it will create that customer. You can see that my Next.js account number one is now created. So I can go to the users. And remember, this is using Prisma. I mean, Drizzle. It's not using Prisma. And I'm going to create this Next.js user number one, uh, password, um, password, first name, and Drizzle. It's not going to be a super admin or even a guest uh, on the admin dashboard. So I'm going to not check anything and click save. Um, I have a little bug here. Let me quickly debug that. OK, so I found the issue. The issue is that I'm sending these insert values on my Drizzle um, database, and the roles are empty. So I get that uh, error. So if there are no roles, I'm just going to return uh, nothing. So it's good that this error happened to me and not to you. but. Trying again, create another user. I'm going to copy this previous user and set this to number two and set to Alex Drizzle 2. Now, save should work because now I fixed it. And now let's go to roles and permissions and go to application users. Click on the newly created account, which is this one, and set myself as a super user so I can go to the application side and go to that specific my Next.js account and go to settings and go to members. And you can see here that I can invite that user. I'm going to set Alex Drizzle and I need to check if the recent email is working. So I'm going to click invite and check my email. I should get an email uh, in a second. Um, I'm going to pause and wait for it. Okay, I found the issue, or I think I have, because um, I'm not receiving any email. And I think it's because on recent, at least on the uh, sandbox environment, you maybe not be able to send to emails that contain the plus sign. So I'm going to test that with this uh, email. 
So it's I'm gonna invite myself as currently I'm this admin email. I'm no longer Alex. Uh, so I'm gonna add myself here. Result number three and send the email. So if this email is sent, I will confirm my suspicious. Sus yeah. So here I now have this email that you can see it's from onboarding at recent.dev. So, and yeah, there you have it. Um, this is using Next.js, Drizzle, Recent, and Stripe. Now, as an admin, you can go to settings and see all the things that I already implemented, like, for example, creating some pricing plans. You can create the default ones, or you can go to the uh, plans, default plans here. And instead of, for example, creating this basic plan, you can change it to Next.js basic one, save it and go here and click here to generate auto plans. Of course, you need to enable the currencies that, that you want on currencies file. I currently have only um, USD and MXN. So these prices will be created on my product catalog. You can see here that in a second, there should be my Next.js basic plan. Uh, here it is. So I guess it's done. So if I log out, and go to Rockstack and click pricing here. I can subscribe. Um, I'm gonna open on an incognito tab, click subscribe. And there's a small error here. Uh, let me take a quick look. Okay, so I fixed it. Um, I had it like this. And of course, um, it's not always inside a specific account. So this should be nullable. Now, refreshing, click subscribe. And this is in incognito mode. So I need to manually type all my uh, information. Uh, it's like 42 and whatever here. Now this will redirect me to the success route and it will prompt me to create the account. So next uh, account number three. And I'm going to put here next JS account or user dash three. Well, remember that I cannot, this uh, will not send the email because I'm using recent, but doesn't matter because I will be logged in. So this is a new user. You need to implement the thing that your SaaS is going to do here on the application dashboard or go to the page blocks and update the copy, the image, the core features, and the, some testimonials and fact sections, the, the, the video demo and so on. So if you're interested in the remix stack, uh, that's on another video that you can see on the YouTube channel. And then and remember that the spelled kit edition is going to be delayed until October 8th or 15th.